Bye. Good morning, guys. Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. Literally, like, opened my eyes two seconds ago. Relatively early start today. I feel like I've still got, like, that morning croaky voice. <laughs> Callum wanted me to get some pictures this morning, so I just came in the bathroom, like, purely, like, straight out of bed, get some physique updates for him. We're just gonna start the day. We have quite a lot to do today, so we're gonna, like, take advantage of this, like, relatively early morning. I've been finding myself recently, like, going to bed a little bit later than I would like, and it's, like, forcing me to wake up later, because no matter what, I will always get in seven to eight hours of sleep. And if I go to bed at like three in the morning, best believe I'm starting my next day at like 10 or 11, which is not the best. But this is what we're sort of looking like this morning. visually very happy like tightening up a lot around the midsection i'm noticing a lot more flatness in like the arms just because like everywhere is sort of tightening out now but that's completely normal especially when you literally wake up in the morning and like all the blood like typically when you take gh a lot of the blood and stuff pulls in the body like in the feet and the hands you have to sort of allow circulation to do its thing before it can like you know get back in the rest of the body typically like my arms will just naturally feel a lot fuller within just like one hour of waking up but in the morning they feel pretty flat and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, but we're gonna see what the back is looking like as well. Those are the morning visuals. It might be quite confusing as to why we are continuing on the path of trying to get leaner, especially based on the past video of like stopping prep to actually compete in the show that we said that we were going to on December 9th. Honestly, the truth is two reasons. One, my coach wants me to continue to get leaner so we can create an optimal rebound phase after a dieting like period, essentially like that window in which you can grow exponentially after pushing the body down, which is typically why when you bulk up for a long period of time, you exercise mini cuts and like cleanup phases to be able to build up the insulin sensitivity again. So you're responsive to high levels of food and growing and all that sort of stuff. Another reason is because I genuinely just love dieting down and getting shredded. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Like I enjoy the meals, I enjoy the pain, I enjoy the cardio and all the things that come along with it. The only downside and the only reason we're actually not competing on December 9th is because I truly do not believe we have enough time from now until then to bring the condition to the stage that I believe that the pro stage deserves. So I explained all this in the previous video. If you haven't checked it out yet, please go watch it. We are just gonna continue dieting down for the next three to four weeks. So I guess this series is now called Hard Body Shredding 2023 Mini Cut. outside to do some morning check-ins. We've already taken some pictures for Callum, but right now we're gonna do a video as well to show you what we are currently looking like in like natural lighting rather than like upstairs with like the nice bathroom lighting and stuff. So we're gonna stand up there and do a round. All right, hope that's a good visual of what the physique is currently looking like, especially outside in more of like a natural lighting setting. I did actually try to get the check-ins about 25 minutes ago, but it was way too dark and there's a few clouds today. And especially now in the autumn months, it's getting a little bit more gray. I'm absolutely freezing right now. My feet on this cold stone feel like they could fall off. So we're gonna go inside right now, get some cardio done, get some work done and get a head start on today's meals.
breakfast has started, cardio is done, downloaded last night the beta of Modern Warfare 3 and honestly bringing back some serious OG feels like first game, Favela, it literally felt like I was 12 years old again like playing Modern Warfare 2. But just a quick one, the hard body anime tees in all three designs and all the way from small to double XL. These are restocking on the 26th of October, 6pm UK time which is 1pm EST. This is hard body in Japanese and then obviously hard body like right underneath. Pretty sure I'm wearing the backy one, but this is the design on the back. The Baki, the Atachi, and the Goku, they're all like completely original designs and all got like a piece of hard body like sort of like integrated into the graphic. These sold out in 12 hours last time. So when they do restock on the 26th, we did a limited restock only for those that didn't get the chance to jump on the last one because people were kind of pissed that it sold out so fast. These are coming back in probably when this video goes live, like one week. If you do want to see like all the prints, they're on the hardbody.store website, which is in the description. They're currently marked as sold out. So you can take a look at the design and see which one you do want to get for when it does drop because they will go quick. Breakfast has been made. I'm gonna eat this very quickly because I'm absolutely starving right now. And then I would consider myself to be extremely sweaty and smelly and I probably need a shower. So we're gonna do that after this. All right, so we're gonna head to the gym in the next 10 minutes, but my laptop currently is having a battle. My MacBook Pro charger broke. Like, I don't know what it, like I picked it up and it kind of like fell off the attachment and smashed and just like the two parts that usually click together very nicely actually broke. Instead, I'm using Geordie's MacBook Air charger to try and like put power into this absolute beast of a laptop. But the issue is it's losing battery faster than it's actually saving and exporting today's YouTube video. So whichever one wins basically means whether this video is gonna go up later or at a regular normal time. But we just made the pre-workout meal. Just need to get the berries all chopped up and some frozen blueberries out of the freezer to add to this. It doesn't look like a lot, but it definitely goes a long way. All right, so just pulled up at the gym and we're literally still fucking waiting for this video to save and upload. I mean, I'm about to start the workout in a second. I've waited this long that we are committing to the process and this video is going up today, no matter what. Like even if it's late, it's currently at 73%, but we are sticking to a freaking good upload schedule. So I'm waiting, this is going up, and then we're gonna train. So uploading this YouTube video so far has been an absolute massive fail. Like it's still 20 minutes left and we've been trying to do this. Like I thought coming to the gym, it would post in like two minutes, but it's still one hour. So by chance you haven't seen a video called I'm getting leaner every single day. It would have been before this one. And the reason you might not have seen it is because you was asleep because it's literally going up at 10, 30, p.m. UK time, which sucks. Like I always try and post in between like 12 and five UK time, but this is like way off schedule. So if you didn't see it, you know where it is, but we're gonna start training anyway. We've got back and biceps. We've got a brand new belt to take out the packet for some heavy barbell rows. So let's make a pre and do it. All right, so we're starting on a lap pull down. This machine, I prefer so much more than just like an average lap pull down. Initially, I was actually gonna do that, but like all three of them are taken. So I'm like, you know what? It's a good excuse to come over to this absolutely incredible lap. It's more like it's fixed and it kind of feels like you're bringing it down more from like the front rather than straight down, which biomechanically my lats prefer. So we're doing this. One thing I'm noticing so much more now is like when I get into machines, my like hip will pop or like something will like get tight and like make a noise. I don't know what it is. Like I think because my body's just generally like drying out. The thing are happening that I don't know how to explain them. <laughs> Exercise number two, we're doing the T-bar row. This is by far like my favorite T-bar row that's in the gym. There's another one here, which is like newer, but I prefer this one massively. We're gonna pick five like heavy row exercises. This is gonna be like a mass building workout rather than like a bunch of accessories surrounding like small, smaller muscle groups within the back. Like I wanna do like just a shit ton of heavy rows to build mass. That's what we're doing. We've done one variation of a lat pull down, more so front row. This is gonna be a T-bar row. After this, we can do heavy dumbbell row. No, actually, yeah, heavy dumbbell row and then barbell row. And then we'll pick another row and then we've got five. You can try to save yourself, but you only go play yourself. You can try to save yourself, but you only go play yourself. You can try to save yourself. It's getting to the point now where I feel like I'm getting like a little bit smaller in clothes. Until I like have a good pump and like take off my shirt, my like sleeves fit looser. And in hoodies, they fit me like so baggy that I feel like I'm wearing a dress now. 
And like I've not even lost that much. Like the peak of my bulk was obviously like 255 and now we're around 235. Yeah. So we've lost like almost 20 pounds, but it's just gone from my arms <laughs> only. <laughs> I swear I'm still big. Somewhere hiding underneath the t-shirt. <laughs> So change of exercise. I, I said dumbbell row, but there's a naughty Nautilus row right here that I, I believe needs some love. So we're gonna do this instead. And to be honest, I think this is a much better option than doing dumbbell row anyway. Even though like it's a great exercise to do, I'm not like knocking the dumbbell row. It's like a foundation of bodybuilding. I'm pretty sure Arnold did that every day of his life to build the back that he did. But this, I mean, the way it sort of like pulls you back and like really accentuates the length and part of the position, it's pretty amazing. And you can get like such a good squeeze because the, the pivot on this whole, like where it's essentially connected, it allows you to bring it exactly where you want it to go. So this is what we're doing instead. Next set, we've gone up to four plates. The, the main thing that I'm trying to like achieve with this is just making sure that I'm not swinging too much. I'm actually able to control the weight back and bring it in tight enough to achieve like a full decent repetition rather than just being like swinging it back and like I want to make sure it's good or at least as good as it can be. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. We're actually stacking off the barbell row. I feel like we're just like changing our mind throughout the entire workout. Just because of the fact that like everything we've done so far has been like sort of like a mid-range row. But I want to do something more upper back. So on this seated row, the prime, seated myself very low down to be able to like bring the machine up to basically work my upper back instead of doing just more mid-back stuff. But we're still doing rows. We're still doing stuff to gain mass, but we're just like changing the position and the target of which we're doing so. Stomach is gone. We're doing biceps now. Back is complete, feels very juicy. We're moving on, we've got a brand new piece of Watson kit right here. Watson is a company based out of England. Create some pretty sick machines. They bought a bunch here and there's a whole new stack because everyone is always on every single cable in this freaking gym because it's the busiest gym in Canada. So we're doing some cable bicep curls. Might, you know, go over and venture to uh, some sort of preacher machine curl of sorts afterwards. And then we'll call it a day. Excuse me, what'd you say? You gotta pray to the gains gods. Pray to the gains gods. Yeah, by doing preacher curls. Who are the gains gods? Uh, me. You. Okay. <laughs> Jordy is the gains gods. If there was a god of gains, what would his name be? Chris Bumstead. <laughs> oh shit! Kind of bang on, really. <laughs> but like, you know how like there's Zeus, Poseidon. I think. Just bum. Yeah, bum. Can I get some bum? Just the big bum, bum god. Hey Blake, I got a question, I'm gonna ask you something. Yeah, what's up? If there was a god at the gym, yeah. what would his name be? Or Blake. her name be? Blake. Blake? Yeah. Okay. I am the god of the gym, man. You're the <laughs> Yeah, this, okay. is, this is him. Okay, so yeah. same as Zeus, Poseidon, it's just Blake. A level up from that. Okay. Yeah. If there was a god of the gym, what would its name be? Same as like Zeus, Poseidon, god of the sea. Brandon Harding. Brandon Harding. Oh shit, alright, I'll take it. High five. Yeah, I 
Yeah. Fuck yeah. Actually, it's funny because Jordy said Chris Bum said, Blake said his own, like himself. And we got Brandon. We need we need a tiebreaker. All right, we're asking people questions. If there was a name to name the god of the gym, what would the name be? Well, it's Seabum, isn't it? Seabum. Yeah. That's yeah. the tiebreaker. Oh, okay, all right. Is that right? Jordy Somebody said, else said that. Jordy said Seabum. Hunter said me. Blake said Blake. And you said Seabum. <laughs> Blake said, <laughs> Blake said himself. Yeah. Seabum is the god I of the gym. It's yeah. yeah. It's gotta be, right? We have a conclusion. You were right. I know. Seabum it is. I don't know whether to be offended or, or what. Not even like, you know, someone that isn't my own girlfriend or boyfriend voted me. You had an obligation. I don't just say shit just to say shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will be the god of the gym. We didn't actually end up taking out the bag, but I wanted to like sort of like speak about an achievement. I was gonna do obviously barbar rows today, and I got the belt that I usually wear, and I tried to put it on, and it, it was a large, and it was like I'm three sizes, like a whole like lever belt sizes smaller than I was when I started the diet, and that's only happened in like five weeks. It's just it's literally melted away. So I got a medium one, but I wanted to show you that when you order a hard body lever belt, it comes in like a really nice packet. Everything comes in its own individual packaging, like the buckle comes in an incredible box as well. It's like literally like opening a nice premium watch it's amazing so if you do want to get anything from the hard body store everything is premiumly packaged stored in a temperature safe environment basically all the things you'd want to maintain the quality of the equipment anytime you buy from hard body like you can always get 10 percent if you just go on the instagram and find one of the athletes everyone has a code and it's always 10 percent off so you can pick someone to support like you can't support me or anything like there's no code hard body but i'm pretty sure you could pick one of the athletes from the instagram and then just find someone to support they'd massively appreciate it you'll get a discount too it makes everyone happy And we are back at home. Honestly, that was such a good workout. And to be honest, it was just like a good all round time in the gym, like hanging out with friends, like smashing a workout, getting a sick pump. Like honestly, just like it was an incredible workout itself. But then at the end of the workout, just like socializing, speaking to people, having a good time. Like that's one of the main reasons why I love the gym so much is because like you're in a space and you're around people that all of the same thing more times than not you're passionate about the same stuff and there's so many things you can like talk about bounce off each other ideas different things and it's just like such a good place and it, it i know it's not the same for every gym in the world and i've definitely been to gyms where there's like almost like a judgment vibe of the gym especially like if you're filming maybe you're like really really passionate and really going for a set and you're like maybe grunting or you accidentally drop a weight and people like turn their heads and they look at you and they just give you this dirty look. That's a really like unfortunate place to be in. And obviously I've experienced multiple gyms like that all over the world, but sometimes there's a gem in the mix and you get to go to a really, really cool space around cool people. And I think another massive reason why it's a good workout and just a good all round night is because the stress of prep and all that sort of stuff is completely off. And not that I wasn't enjoying workouts on prep because I absolutely was. I was so driven and so motivated and loved the idea of doing the show. And in my heart and in my mind, I truly wanted it to be the case. And it, and the reason it was so hard for me to stop is because of how much I really wanted to do it and how much that I truly, like it actually pained me. Like the decision, I don't know if you watched the vlog, but it was at the end of like the second last video. I think I posted it on Monday, so like four days ago. Fuck, I don't know what to say, man. Like the whole prep thing and just fucking. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Clearly we have a lot to talk about. Looking at that footage, like I could literally see how torn I was because it was just so disappointing knowing that I, I messed up in terms of like the duration of time I believed I could get conditioned in to be lean enough to step on the stage. Because of how bad I wanted to do it, I hyped myself up, I got myself mentally ready, essentially flicked the switch in my mind. I was, I was ready and 
I really wanted to do it and okay and most of all I was just disappointed in the fact that I was so excited to compete in Austria like that's literally where I got my pro card like do you not think that I wanted to step on stage and do that a new pro and show my face again but obviously some things are not for you and there's things in life that you'll go through and there's things in life you're going to experience and I'm realizing this more now in my life than I feel like I ever have before I've always been told if it's for you it won't pass you by and if it's not for you it will pass you by it doesn't matter like how it happens or like what headspace you have to be in or like what life throws your way your life's going to find a way to pull you out of it and put you in the position where you need to be to be on the path you need to be on and that served me my entire life it's given me the life that i have and it's always been going with my gut listening to myself intuitively and although there was a moment of sadness and disappointment i know that that's going to lead to something hopefully better in the future but of course with that sort of like stress alleviated and now the grace period happening where i'm like looking at things more positively i'm able to just like really enjoy my sessions because the session that i had when i decided to start prep was an apps just a every set was depressing every rep was just like did i make the right choice did i make the right decision but overall now there's a moment of clarity and i truly believe that i did and i'm excited to continue cutting down a little bit grow a little bit more tissue and then compete next year when we will be more ready than we was this time which could result in a better turnaround i've been sat here for the past few hours just getting some work done basically like just making the most of the evening i'm done now i'm gonna shut my laptop and head to bed so with that being said i'm gonna end the video here i really hope that you're enjoying as well the new upload schedule if you didn't know we are now posting on youtube long form videos not shorts because we have a plan for the future now to revamp the channel and concentrate more on vlogs and just like the stuff that i genuinely like to create so expect a new video on every monday wednesday and Friday. I'm going to take a break from shorts for an entire month because although we've gained 220,000 subscribers in the last 90 day from just shorts, it's literally been like 70 million views. What that's done, and I, I'm sorry if it's like been disappointing when I've like posted a video and it's been a short and not an actual video. You never have to worry about that again, at least not for the next month because every upload is going to be a vlog. YouTube is split between two algorithms, a long form one and then a short form. So all the subscribers that come over from shorts don't get noticed about the long form videos and then in turn being notified about a short is going to turn someone off and be disappointed and then they're just not going to watch the long form because obviously over the course of time the, the long form video views literally in the past like month and a half have just gone down a little bit so we are going to do everything within our power to make sure that the vlogs are the priority that is genuinely what i enjoy if i just look back on my life in 10 years and watch a bunch of shorts am i going to have the same memories that i would have if i was watching vlogs no absolutely not and that is the fundamental reason i started this channel in the first place to have a big motion memoir to be able to look back on my experiences of life and look back and hopefully be proud of what we've done so the vlogs are now what this channel is only going to be about so with that being said if you enjoyed the video please drop a like turn on post notifications subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps the channel grow make sure to turn on post notifications because it is the only way you're going to be notified about future videos. Make sure to download the Hardbody app. It is the first link in the description down below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.